list, but really simple, yet groundbreaking. Electricity. I'm gonna explain all the features of this mod and how it works together. Without anything less to do, let's begin. So, if you look around, we have a couple of interesting mechanisms in here. Starting from the basic, we have the electric forge, which uses, as you can clearly see, cables, which are made from copper plates, as far as I can remember. You can power the forge to smelt simple items. For example, if we take a ingot, you know what, let's take an iron blue. On everything, there should be a bloom. There we go, an iron bloom. So how the system works is, you can see there is a generator, which converts mechanical power, like rotational power, to the electrical power that we see being generated here. If you look at the top of my screen, you can see electricity production is at 90%, Overflow is also at the same rate. I'll explain everything later. So, the basic electrical systems that you can make in this mod are pretty simple to say the least. We have the motors, which are basically the same as the generator, but in reverse, they use electricity at a slightly less efficient way. Uh, so you can't make perpetual mobile, you know, you can't make an infinite engine, you have to actually generate more power than using it. So this machine still uses 100 power units, as you can see, consumption is 100. Most machines use 100 except for lamps or like heaters. Heaters use 8, and regular lamps use also 8, and the small lamps use 4. Uh, the electric heaters, a lot of people might think that this is used for crops or something else, like heating up uh, an area. Apparently not, it basically just heats you. It's a little disappointing, but hey, it's something. And then we have accumulators, which are the most basic thing to store energy. So if we start using a lot of energy, this accumulator will start running low. Not running low, it's more like getting discharged. It's not about storing too much power, it's basically like a UPS unit that's making the power, how do I say it, more reliable to use. Anyways, let me show you the electric forge. I didn't do. Why is it only getting 90%? So, you see, there's not enough power produced. Why? This guy, right here, the generator is only producing 90% power, 90 power units. This is also using 90 power units. So you can see the temperature max, because it's not full power, it cannot heat up the bloom to the splitting temperature, which we need to, you know, hammer it. But we have this accumulator, which has excess power accumulated in it. So we can click on the switch, and now we can see that the temperature of the electric forge has jumped to 1100. That means this iron bloom will be smelted, and we can actually use it. So this is a simple design for basically everything. You know, the motor is just lets you move the axles, the axle power, the kinetic, or you know, motor power, basically anywhere. Which is extremely nice, because working with these things makes it extremely annoying in small spaces, for example. Another thing, you can actually move it for walls uh, very sneakily. Uh, if you choose not to place a block, you can basically just run a cable through the ceiling, through the wall, and to the electric source. For example, uh, motors, if they don't get enough power, they work extremely slowly, or don't work at all. It's actually pretty interesting. Use oh the generation yeah just remembered if you are generating power uh, I don't think reductors increasing power by you know reduction or increasing the how do they say the speed like using a machine uh, like a gearbox will not help I think 
Because you need sufficient kinetic power to rotate this thing, because if, if it's rotating too slow, you know, you have either too less power to push it, it's still gonna get slow. So you can't, like, up this speed, because it has actual, like, drag. Oh, dear god. Anyways, yeah, the entire thing is, if you set it too low, if you, like, reduce the power on the axle side, things, you can clearly see that the generators started making... The generator, I'm sorry. <laughs> the single generator started making less power. And thus... Yeah, see, the overhaul is only 72. But if we get back to the full power, you should see this thing. Oh, the wind is actually really slow right now. What is going on? Did I make something wrong? Anyways. Yeah, it's... it's what the hell? Is this thing stopping? Anyways, yeah, coming back to the thing. Yeah, you can clearly see we can use power to power the machines, like lamps. For example, if lamps are not getting enough power, they're also gonna dim a little. We have eight levels of brightness, so if we start using too much power, you can see the lights dimming a little, because we don't get enough power. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, but... Give me a second. I accidentally broke it. As uncareful as I am. Right, this should. Yeah, see, it's only getting... It's not getting anything. It just has enough power to keep up the lamp and you, the lamps, and you can see that we are struggling. So these are the basic features of the mod. It's extremely simple, yet you can build extremely complicated and interesting systems to make your work and your entire forge, to say the least. Really fun. You can light up the base, light up the house, light up the outside. And this is a basic example of this mod. Extremely fun. And anyways, thank you for watching. See you next time.